So I've just got my SIBO test results back. I'm going to show you the truth behind whether Goji Man's treatment works or not. Roll the titles. So towards the end of last year, I was deep into a bulking cycle when I started to have some serious problems. The main one being severe debilitating stomach cramps, which I had to constantly take meds for and acid reflux, which had not affected me in the seven years at that point since I'd stopped eating animal products. I had no idea what brought it on. It was certainly exacerbated by the fact that I was cramming in 6,000 calories, mostly from whole foods at the time. I reached out to Goji Man and he kindly sent me over SIBO and organic acids test kits to try and ascertain what the problem was. Both were really simple to do. The SIBO test required me to take a baseline breath sample, drink a lactulose solution, and then retest every 20 minutes for a total of 10 tests. The organic acids test is a simple urine sample. They came back positive for SIBO and showed that I had elevated oxalate levels. Don't take my word for it though. Here's the actual test. So you'll see my name at the top left there, Paul Curtin. You'll see the date of the report, 30th of November, 2018. I've had to block out all the lab's details in case of sad little people with pathetic lives <clears throat> but okay, trolling the lab. So the test is checking for hydrogen and methane in the breath. You'll see at the start both are low, then there's a little peak after 20 minutes, goes back down at 100 minutes and certainly by 120 minutes, both have really gone up. By the end of the test, the two combined come out at 63 parts per million, which is indicative of SIBO. Methane is at 8, while hydrogen is at 55, so this particular type of SIBO is known as hydrogen dominant. I'd been soldiering on for five months, really suffering, then one day it just became too much. I decided to switch to a cutting cycle, that's a fat loss diet for non-gym goers, um, in the hopes that it would alleviate some of the symptoms. This happened concurrently with me starting the treatment that Goji Man had prescribed. I was to take the natural antimicrobials allicin, which comes from garlic, berberine from berries, and later on, I added in grapeseed extract. I was very happy to discover that I didn't need to change my diet at all. I immediately felt some relief from the cramping, although, of course, I don't know whether that was the fact that I'd cut down the volume of food, the treatment, or a bit of both. Over the course of the next two weeks, the acid reflux became less and less until it completely disappeared. A few weeks into the treatment, I also added in the supplement glutamine, which is a simple amino acid, and quercetin, which is an extract from onions. These help repair the intestinal wall should there be any permeability or what some people refer to as leaky gut syndrome. While I was waiting for my test results, I accidentally ingested some gluten in the form of panko breadcrumbs, which was on some tofu that I bought at Yosushi. For the longest time, gluten had been a huge problem for me, causing that severe cramping which I talked about earlier. To my surprise, I had zero symptoms. I've been testing by doubling and then quadrupling the amount of that particular tofu I ate, and again, no issues. I'm not saying it's conclusive because I've not had the courage to test it on other glutinous products yet. Part of me worries that maybe there's something about this particular product which makes it okay for me, and I'm not keen to feel that amount of pain again anytime soon. But in all probability, it looks like the treatment has actually cured my gluten issue, as Goji Man said it could do. But anyway, the moment of truth. Did Goji Man cure my SIBO? Okay, so on the left here, you'll see my name, Paul Curtin, along with young Mr. Goji Man's name. On the right, you'll see that the report date is the 6th of August, 2019. And look at these results all the way through hydrogen and methane below 10 parts per million. At the bottom left here, you'll see it says SIBO negative. These results do not suggest small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. So there's your answer, folks. Goji Man is 100% legit. And I couldn't be more thankful to him. To the next vegan thinking of following in Rulvana or Tim Sheaf's footsteps, if you truly don't want to harm animals unnecessarily, you owe it to them to give Goji Man's protocol a try. It was so easy, straightforward, and above all, effective. That's the end of the video. I hope you all enjoyed. And take care of your body because it's the only place you have to live. Now click this.